Yeah, what's up? This is Angel Look at us all again for a new tutorial. Oh, uh, I promise that there will be a cliche effect tutorial, but I have no much time to edit that, so I will try to edit that later. But in here, we will tackle about the texture effect that you've probably seen it in common days. And I'll, I will show you some samples now here. Actually, this is a vibrant tutorial of Ignis Alea. So, uh, texture of animation tutorial. So, subscribe to him. He got more tutorials on After Effects. If it was PowerPoint, this is PowerPoint. So, we're gonna remake this now in PowerPoint. So, uh, not, not gonna remake, but we will teach you the concept of it. So, let's get started. So, I have prepared my slide now with a pale yellow in the background. Yeah. So, I will insert now a text box. And I will type a sentence, but I will first type in you can do. It can be any sentence if you want. You can do inspirational or anything you can. But I will change this first to Gotham. Enlarge it a bit. I'm not actually, that's not actually important. I'll just formatting it. Hmm. But I think this is important. I will align, I went to the this sentence to be at the right of a slide, the half of the slide, I open the guide, I will position it to the center and to the center and align it to the right for own purposes. I will adjust formatting formatting this sting and change the color. Hmm, a flat brown yeah. And I so we will go to the core, which is the texture of the back. I have duplicated the guides. And you can press shift and control. Shift and control. I will just adjust this a bit for own purposes and I will line it in the middle. And this is not important actually. I will speed until I can deserve a better text box. Don't you worry, I'm just adjusting it to the center, I'm adjusting the internal version, but it is not important at all. I'm just doing it to align at the center. It is not important. It's not a uh, usual topic. But we will now do the text shift effect. So go insert. I will insert a rectangle. I go across this section of this slide. I think I'm going quart it of the slide and duplicate it by pressing control and shift control and shift or I'll just add a rectangle again and we will change this the fill of this rectangles to a temporary color some of this maybe and removing its outline so that in a way so I will go now for the text I will insert a um, uh, no. I will duplicate this text box, so it's same formatting. Place it here in the right, the half of a slide, and change the alignment to the left. Going to the middle, so on the purposes, and yeah, lighting into the slide there. So I will type many words that I can, but in the end, I will. No, wait, wait, wait. I will hide this rectangles for now so I can see better how I'm typing. You can type many sentences like mathematics. I think you can do mathematics. Oh, but this sprouted. I will just expand this to the corner of the slide and uh, type many. Type many words as you can. Like, you can do science. Uh, of course, you can do science. The art stuff. The art stuff and it you can type as many as you can but in the end you will type the word that actually formed the sentence i use the sentence you can do better because you can actually do it better <laughs> so i'll just speed up the process so we can save time and not looking at me typing some words random words but there and bam now i have this bunch of lines just to fill in the texture effect. Okay. 
I think uh, it is fine. So I can show up these spectacles again. So you can see the idea of what I am doing here. I will add it to animation and we'll, I will add it a flying effect. I'll go to animation pane. Go with previous as always and increase the smooth end so it be less linear. So sort of that. Sort of that. We'll doing it better. Okay, I'll play for you and uh, yes. Smooth, right? But this wait, Jello, this is not the text shift effect. But first I'll teach you how to go with the this you can do time to go shift before the time shifts. I'll add a rectangle. You feel it with the same of the back color and remove its outline, send it to back, and as the text buzz as well will be set the fly in. And I will add the flying effect. I will will it play it with previous, increase its smooth end. There, you've done these thing. I will position it as in, in the time I will do you can do to appear first. You'll see here. But actually this is not a did not the crucial part of this tutorial. I will now teach you how to do this. I will go to animation pane, I will select lines from the motion pads, and here is the quick part. I want you to be precise so we can see the next line that will appear which is in this case science I will scroll adjust the time a bit and decrease the duration by I think 5.5 one second works increase the smooth end so the last one here uh, oh no I think the f first position is not in line I'll adjust it a bit we actually do precise works so we can achieve the effect we want. As you see, it doesn't line up. But here is the trick. I want you to position the endpoints. Wait, wait, wait. Not now. But I will observe this and uh, adjust the sign. Position the endpoint precisely by zooming it and pressing Control Shift, actually. Yeah, do you see the middle of these? line calculus the middle bit you don't see uh, you don't see <laughs> but I see it with my visual eye I'm imagining <laughs> and yeah I said hmm. I want to make the hmm. ooh I will add that the guides first so we can do precise works and there to copy this gu copy a guide and position it, you can press Control and Alt. So you can make precise. You can precisely position the guides to these, but you can see it adds up to the next slide. So I'll leave it that. There we have the guides that actually position in the center of each line. Middle of each line or it's center. Oh, there. You can actually now see the text shift effect is doing now, but you can't actually see the last word, which is better. Because you can do it better. I think this animation is fine. I will now add another. Wait, wait, wait. There. We have this LC position that using the guides. So I add another add another line, motion pad going up and I ooh and I want you to be the same in the duration and adjust the delay a bit then you can uh, oh you can position the first point of it to the and point of the the last position there and precisely position the endpoint to the guide so we can actually see the whole effect we can actually see you can actually see here ooh bit of a glitch 
it is a fault if the first point just drag it here and we're done then and our stuff Ooh, it is a bit off oops just the smooth end oh i see the, the first animation okay and there and there and there you can actually see the tree lines and you can actually do a lot of heap of motion pad by adding another motion pad as well and position it on whether you want to start but I will start before the the last animation which is this one and I will position the first point of it to the last, posi last end position and adjust it highway I think in this I don't think so but I'll see mathematics science Oop. oh no it is not precise because I didn't actually go adjust the delays a bit I think that is better you do mathematics science art stuff zoom 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 but I want to actually appear want to appear the last word which is better there and I'll do besides end point actually this is easier and more you can actually position the line where they want to appear and it's just a glimpse mm. oh I'm reaching the I'm reaching the pattern now I'm reaching it I'm doing it better no actually and I'll proceed increase the time increase the time so you can see these words better but you actually it's not aligning so you can press ctrl shift and drag in the end point until you get the desired position of your last word right there we are reaching it now but it is a bit off I'll do it precisely so you can see what it will be in the last time and it is a bit off I'll position it precisely as I can do I just speed up so you can see the whole result and I think this is better now I got precisely position the end point and uh, no actually a bit off uh, just a little and I think it's better I hope uh, there we have aligned the better precisely and I will uh, turn off the guys now because the actual work is done now I will adjust the spacing of the two words or the phrases to make it appear as a phrase I will do it now by pressing control or not control but alt in the keys and select these two rectangles bring them and change the fill to the background color in this case pale white and group them actually and bring it to forward bring it forward and you can actually see the thing is doing it now there that is a core of our full text shift effect and you can actually do more better in this and this is much easier in 20 PowerPoint 2013 and 2016 because you can actually see the position up you can actually see the image of the end position by just pressing the end point so you can actually see the last position of it but it's much not a bit easier in 2010 because I want to make it more precise but I think in this I have done it hmm there mm, I know I think it is a bit up again because I adjust it secretly will not speak here about it but can actually position that a bit so you can actually precisely position the word there 
So it now appears as a one line. <laughs> I think you do, can do more better as this, as I say. You can actually change the text a bit. Actually, open the guys first. Ooh, I can actually add a fill before this. This is actually experimental. And it was outline, send it to back. Oop, but but I am not seeing there. I will select the mat for the you can do word. Right there, send it to back first. Because it is in. Um, I will select the mat that I done for the you can do statement there and add it and add a disappear so we can we cannot see there when the brown rectangle will appear we gotta see blocking it and I'll add now the brown rectangle oh I think it this position in this size, actually, because you're aligning it along this way, creating things. You can actually go to it and set it back and add a flying animation. Play it with previous and play it before the text appears. We'll actually position these animation to be sm in a smooth end and position the delay of it. Bef after the the position is after it disappear, I fill it with the w fill it with a white. Oh no, actually white. It is a there. You can actually now see. Let us do anything. Now you can actually make a, make the. Make the rectangle appear before the rectangle. Oop, nope. After the rectangle, of course. I'll position this. We're having it delay consecutively in a sequence. And then actually teaching you how to do this in. do this in Sasuet. Actually discussing you the idea of it. Then you can actually now see that this stuff is more cooler than before. Am I right? Uh, is this cool? Uh, mm -hmm. I think I do think so. But here, but I want first to cut off the extra s extra space of this. I want to mark it with a pen. You can find it in your slideshow. I'll keep it, and you can see the guide in your slide. So I want you to insert this rectangle and fill it with this color. Remove the outline, add it fly in, make it point previous, and uh, drag it to the time where the, the last word appears. Smooth as you like. And go to the left or right. And now you can delete the, the pen over here. It is not a beautiful thing you will see in this day. Delete. And you now have your words scrolling and cut off there but I want to make it more slower so I'll just increase the duration and you can see it cuts better it cuts in position uh, not not really <laughs> not in the position but yeah you, you just cut off the excess rectangle of this and you now have done the texture effect that you have like now so this is the end of the tutorial. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe for more PPDs as always. And I will see you in the next video.